Yo, what's up guys? You want me to your boy for life? I finally wanted to get this to you guys. I've been threatening to do this for so long, but I've had many configurations with this and there's so many ways to do this, but basically you just install a ring to ring in the tree. Now I'm gonna climb up this ladder here and so I can show you what you got here so you can see it up close and personal. Now this is the eject. And this is only when you install this in the tree, okay? Um, when you up at the point that you wanna tie into and you wanna get this set up, um, which, you know, you have it choked around the trunk of the tree, which is this part here. You have your system where you'll be docked in right here. And then you have your retrieval system right here tied to the back. Now you, you know, you, that's why I say these brilliance have multiple uses. Now, here's the deal. The only thing I do um, might change up later on is that I don't necessarily need that piece right there but I'm just using this for um, just to show you. But I could I could have that piece anywhere because it's just sitting here. It's not really because it'll 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 go up against the device like this. It's not really hurting it or anything. It's not really affecting the device and its ability to save you or anything of that nature. But I would almost rather like stitch something here possibly or have like a small um, ring to ring. You can just clip this beaner into or something here. Um, to where you you're you're tied into the end of this system, so that's one thing you would want to do, to where you're tied into the end of that system, um, to where when you go to retrieve it, you'll see what I mean later on. It'll be easy to pull it down to yourself once this, because this is the part of the system that will free itself from around the the tree, because this will slide right out of here and this will be free and it'll hang, and it'll just do what it do. So I'm gonna show you this, guys. Because as you're pulling this through the system here, and you'll get to this point. Now, here's the deal. So you can pull your rope through. And then, boom. See how it captures itself there? And see how it's about to come through there? Now, watch this. Now, once you have that and you pull it down a little bit more. And I'm going to get on the ground here so we can see the whole thing. And you can see it. And see, now you have it. And see, then what you'll be doing it'll be a fight with your rope and see how that is holding up up there provided that don't get stuck on anything so make sure you don't have anything to where you feel like that'll be stuck because otherwise you'll be you know pulling it through like that because that's what the system does in effect i mean you have a way to retrieve the rope from the system itself because it's tied into this right here so you can use this rope to pull down on it and see how when you pull down on it it pulls the kink cabian saber um style uh, retrieval device down so you can you know once you get it to a certain point you can just use the rope to do that so you will retrieve the whole system at once so once you lower everything down like i just did there and i'm sorry i'll do it again i'll feed it back up here in the tree so you can see i know i was doing a little too much there and you could almost set it up like this if you didn't have to go through there but you still again it's just one of those deals but i'm pulling it up here and I'm going to pull it around. Oh, there it goes. So, it's out of there now. And that's how that works. Of course, that came out a lot better than I thought it would. Because that piece popped off. I got to find the piece now. Where'd you go, baby? There she goes. So, basically, my throw rope became undone. But long story short, guys, you get the gist of what I'm doing. I mean, anybody who knows, knows. And so I'll, I'll just take this off and I'll show you. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Okay, guys, now this is the system set up lower. So I can kind of show you all the, the running parts of it a little closer to you, more up and close in detail and how you would set this up. So basically, you know, Petzl never leaves you in a lurch as, to, as far as where they want you to and how they want you to use the device. You know, you can see the target area, which is this right here on this device. You could even see this right here. You can see all that, this little loose area right here. And that's what made me think of this because I'm thinking this tail end basically ain't doing nothing anyways. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's doing something. You know, it's basically holding your life up and it won't. So if the device gave away, you wouldn't just fall out. So it's definitely a lifeline. But really, this part right here, this little um, 
device right here, this cam, which is a choking cam, choking part of the device. That and this itself is really what's doing most of everything. So that's what made me think about this idea, which is basically technically like a ring to ring type situation. Um, and you can get, I mean, this could be modified even better than this, um, 10 times better than what I have here, but you can do whatever you want, whatever you have available to you. I could even stitch me something right here to where this ring would just hang off of this device. And it, it's cause it's just sitting here. This is only for retrieval. There's nothing you can see. It's nothing lifeline, anything considered with that. You know, even if the device was to, even if we were in a tighter situation, I could simply, you know, run that a little closer maybe fix the carabiner up a little different so it wouldn't be too crazy but again this is not really doing anything where it's at like this and normally in most configuration because this part of your device here is only big enough to choke on most of the time little smaller stuff in trees you know you'll be around little crotches here and there you know way up in the tree not really around the trunk like a big old trunk because you would have to have a humongous um, piece of webbing strap which i'm sure they probably have that you can probably get you know obviously this piece right here can be adjusted so you could possibly even make you something or they might even make something that's really really big to where you can have this set up but see that's that was the dilemma that they had which would have kept them from doing that is because how do we make this retrievable from the ground without you know basically losing the device and so my system in effect what in my brain you know everybody has the way that they do it again it just made me think okay this is one way that we can basically make this device even more efficient in the case that we wanted to have a larger tie-in spot because we have an adjustable um adjustable retrievable device that i can add with two rings which i could have you know easily spliced up splice to splice or ring to ring which is adjustable and we don't even need a a, a grilling device we could have had like a um uh prusik uh, any kind of friction hitch, you know, that's just the rope itself, you know, and then we can have that going through. So we have a, a, a friction hitch um, attached to this carabiner that also is attached to this um, system here. So like, again, if we had like maybe a, a extra webbing that came out here, a little sl slot just for the retrieval device and that way and it's adjustable so now you can go around not only little diameter trees like this but now you can get around even bigger trees like that even just in the middle of a situation where you're not even at the top of a tree so now you own the trunk of something that you know that's a decent size that's way bigger than this so now you have the ability to have a larger webbing strap that you can attach to the device to eject. And now you have a, the ability to have a, a, a easier way to retrieve it from the ground without feeling like it's just gonna fall and just fall into a million pieces, you know? But again, that's, you know, they, they, they're they smarter than I am. So I'm not trying to say they didn't think all this stuff out. Everybody does, they go through all this stuff, but it just made sense to have it in a smaller situation around typical crotches that you're around up in the tree. You know, when you're up in the tree, you know, typical crotches up there, you know, just little stuff, you know, um, and and that way the device is a lot better because most cambium sabers and just to make a long story short, um, I'll show you this. This is one one of my buddies made for me, but this is just a typical cambium saber, the ring, the ring, small ring. Eye, and I've been using this for years. Uh, my buddy, um, Ralph Benavides, if I got his name right. Sorry, buddy, if I hacked your last name, but. Ralph B, he made this for me years ago, but I'm still using that on my belt. So I make that, you know, that's have that as backup most times. Like, and I could even still use this around, which is crazy because even when this extends further around a tree like this, you'll have one ring over here and your other ring still here, but your rope would be, it would be in front, but it would kind of have more friction on it. But if you could still use this like that, but again, it's hard to have an adjustable cambium saber, which they make. But they're just having all this stuff on your belt. That's why they have all this mechanical stuff now you can use and your grillions and things of that nature. But again, not to make a drag this out, but but the guys who know know, and you can definitely see. So if you decide to get this device for yourself, which I think is definitely something you would can have in your arsenal. I mean, this is a very good device. I mean, I can't even. I mean, I, I think um, I can't think it's Lupie Lupilo Santiago um Art Rembo Artista. Um, he, 
he uses this a lot, you know, and he's done very good reviews on this. And you can just see how he uses it in the palm trees and the different trees that he uses it in. And it's just amazing, guys. I mean, it's just a really nice device to have, especially in, in situations where the crotch is really tiny and you can just allow that part to choke on there. But again, how are we going to get this down? Like, say, if this is just a stub that is choked around and there's, you know, no limb here or no limb there to get it off of. How do I feel comfortable about trying to retrieve this in a slower, m m slower, maybe more methodical way without, you know, getting it? you know destroyed so again guys i'm going to show you and this is going to fall through already because you can see it already falls because it's such a big system and so there you go and so i know it's a ladder but if it was choked around the tree to be a little different you could have it and it would be easily retrievable all you would do is just let everything down untie your throw rope untie your throw rope and then just go from there so that's how that works, guys. And you've seen it in the tree already, so I don't need to show you that again. But it's a very simple situation. Um, and so really, once you get it lowered to you with the throw rope, you take it off, and then boom, you're done. So that's it. There it goes. Hope that helps somebody. Again, this is Pet Toy Jet, guys. I'm going to go up, and um, I'm going to show you what I figured out with the Pet Toy Jet. And this is only when you install the device in the tree but i'm sure you can figure out how to do this from the ground somebody's smart enough and i've, I've had another way before but i lost my notes but i'm just going to show you just a simple way now basically what you are technically just doing here is installing a ring to ring on the device itself so you have some form of system to capture the rope on this side and some form of system to cap the capture the rope as it comes into or really out of the device especially if you're you're installing it this way so so that's really what you have because you have this system is closed around the limb so you just imagine this is all wrapped around the same so this is something that could be easily retrievable but also something you don't really care about to hit the ground as hard as it would as if you did this i was just messing around over here and chasing my little puppy and end up scraping this up so a little bit right here so you can see if it just a little scrape right there and a couple scuff it's easy to mess up your devices if you're not careful if you don't take care of them um so this was my only drawback um with this device even though there's many other ways to lower it down and so many ways you can do it but this is just one way that i found that helps me when i use it um and i'm going to show this to you so basically i have my throw rope tied on and this is going to be the main thing that's going to keep you straight you keep your throw rope tied on and then you course use your retrieval um device here that petzl provides for the eject itself so basically and you got to understand this is kind of bulky and it's kind of over exaggerated here but it's basically a ring to ring so a ring coming off the back side of this device that also connects into this rope and again that part of the section of the rope there so we're going to show you and here's the deal so now okay now that you're out of that ring and see how your throw rope's still there boom there's the system right there. I know I couldn't catch it all, but then you would simply lower it down with your throw rope. Um, let me see if I can get myself untangled here. Sorry about that. I thought I had everything free. I'm tangled up on all the bark. So using your system with your rope, and you could also pretty much just lower it with your um with your throw rope, you can still retrieve your other end of your device. So really what ends up happening is that your throw rope, you're able to lower everything down with your throw rope alone. And so the only thing, so once it hits the ground, you'll just pretty much be undoing your system here. And so let's see it, it hits the ground, boom. Okay. And then you'll just simply just undo your throw rope out of the device here. And I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. And this is a very simple, I just did an overhand knot here. So once that's out of there, you'll just simply retrieve the throw line. And so your throw line, whatever your throw bag or throw line, whatever, you'll simply just feed it back through. And so you'll have to have plenty of throw line if you are way up in there. And then that's all you'll be doing. I mean, that's as simple as it gets. 
So I'll reinstall this and I'll show you again, um, just for those who, who might want to see it again. But it's very simple. I mean, and that's, it's kind of crazy because you would have to have a retrieval vice, device for a Cambian saver. But when you have one this nice that has many uses, you just don't want to tear it up and just, you know, you don't want this dropping on the ground. Whereas your ring to ring systems, you could always just have that stuff hit the ground. I mean, that stuff is nothing. I mean, you don't care about a ring or carabiner, sometimes even pulleys and things of that nature. But you have certain devices that you just won't slam into the ground or to the tree that you want to take care of, you know. Um, that's why a lot of people like the X-Rings. But I'm going to get another video, guys. I'm going to set all this up again, and I'll show you one more time.